were you surprised to receive the news? Well, I was really surprised. I mean, like I worked really hard on this, but I was it was amazing to see to hear that I was picked as one of the top four finalists in the competition. And I had been like doing a lot of research to like to work on my idea and to get it to be in a physical form, and it ended up, ended up coming out really well. So I was excited to hear that I won. How does a student get into a competition a competition of this caliber? I mean. Um, obviously, your grades have to be top notch, but w what else? What are some of the criteria that you had to fit? Well, for this one, it was more of a it was an online competition, so it was advertising for all kinds of students to be able to have the opportunity because it was only on an online database. So basically, anyone can go on the website and participate as long as they're in the age range. So when I found this online, I had been learning how to use CAD, which is um, 3D modeling in school, though by using those skills that's able to participate in the competition. Very nice. Now because of the weightlessness uh, in the spacecraft, it's, it's a challenge for astronauts to keep things uh, in order and uh, sometimes it can even be dangerous uh, if they're not able to do this. And uh, what, what, can you explain a little bit uh, more in detail about your container challenge? Okay, so basically my idea was that astronauts who are on long missions in some space without gravity would need to have a good food source. So I decided to grow food and instead of having to bring soil from like Earth, they can just use water. So it's hydroponic, it only uses water and the plants can grow roots in the water. And I um, researched capillary reaction and the cohesion and adhesion effects of water. And by using the specifically shaped water reservoir in my container, I was able to make the water, allow the plant to grow roots in the water without the risk of it drowning. How challenging was this for you? How long did it take you to do this? How long did it take you to, to test this? Yeah, so um, I, I found it, when I found this, I started thinking about ideas and I really wanted to try out hydroponics because I had been learning about that okay. in school. So I started, I did research for a couple of days because it was really hard to find out like how water, water behaves really differently in space than on Earth. I had to figure out how that would affect the design and how I should design it so that the plant can safely grow roots in the water. Very nice. Well, congratulations on uh, getting that far. Well, let me ask you, do you have any hobbies? Yeah, so I'm on the swim team at my high school. Very nice. And I also, I really like building things. Like I'm building a go-kart now with my friends and I built catapults and other go-karts in the past. So it's really fun to do stuff and I definitely want to go into engineering. Excellent. I was going to ask you, what are your future Watch the remaining show on ITV Gold. Subscribe to ITV Gold on Time Warner Cable Channel 1539. ITV Gold is America's first full-time television channel that caters to the South Asian community. Your favorite dramas with English subtitles. Watch movies, back-to-back -back songs, award-winning local news coverage and much, much more. Subscribe to ITV Gold on Time Warner Cable Channel 1539. Part of the 8-channel combo pack for $39.95. And our East Coast viewers can also subscribe to ITV on RCN Channel 476 and Cablevision on Channel 1168.